It is time for sports on Robin Hood Radio, and we take a look <clears throat> at the top sports stories. And the top sports story, John Madden. Uh, his death was unexpected by the general public and most people, but uh, he was uh, mentioned to be in poor health by uh, close friends. Uh, recently on Christmas Day, Fox had a documentary on him that was absolutely fabulous. Um, and that will be streamed. They will be uh, playing it again. Uh, they'll be streaming it so you'll have chances to see it. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you get a person <clears throat> who's bigger than life. I mean, uh, bigger than his sport. Uh, and John Madden was that person. His death resonated with celebrities, sports figures, entertainers, politicians. He died at the age of 85. He uh, was a football player, not a very good one. <clears throat> he realized that soon enough. He rose to fame really as coach of the Oakland Raiders, making it to seven AFC title games and winning the Super Bowl in the 1976 season. Really, um, Al Davis and John Madden put the Raiders on the back, on the map. Uh, there was just no, no doubt about it. So many different quotes from so many different players. The Raiders uh, sent out the message. They were deeply saddened by the passing of their legendary former coach, John Madden. Um, the list went on and on about people that, uh, that wrote about him. Um, and you know you've made it really big <clears throat> in the NFL uh, when players, modern players, learned the coverage terms, the terms in football on Madden video games. Still one of the top-rated video games out there. He was a coach. He was a broadcaster. It shouldn't have taken 30 years for him to get in the Hall of Fame. He should have been in the Hall of Fame almost right away as a coach. Um, and as a broadcaster, he should have been in with way, way before 30 years. Listen to this. Okay. John Madden, his career, regular season record. Are you ready for this? 103 wins, 32 losses, and 7 ties. Did you hear that? That is just un. Believable. There, there is, there's not been any better coach. He started out in '69 with a 12 and one record, eight and four, in '70, eight and four and two in '72, ten three and one, '73 nine four and one, '74 twelve and two. 75, 11 and 3, 76, 13 and 1, they won the Super Bowl, 77, 11 and 3, and then 78, 9 and 7. 103 wins, 32 losses, and 7 ties in 142 games. His winning percentage, percentage the greatest ever, 750%. In the playoffs, he was 570%, going 16 playoff games, winning nine and losing seven. Simply put, there will not be another coach like him. I know Vince Lombardi is Vince Lombardi. I understand that. But you look at, you look at John Madden's coaching record. He won 75% of the regular season games he coached. That's almost eight out of every ten. That's just amazing. 
absolutely amazing. Well, uh, we are in just a, a, a different world without John Madden in it. All right. Uh, other NFL action, we'll talk about what's coming up on January 2nd, the games. The Eagles will be in Washington. The Rams will be at the Ravens. The Buccaneers at the Jets. The Dolphins at the Titans. The Jaguars at the Patriots. The Raiders at the Colts. The Chiefs at the Bengals. The Giants at the Bears. Uh, a 4-11 and team against a 5-10 and team. Uh, the Falcons against the Bills. The Texans at the 49ers. The Broncos at the Chargers. The Panthers at the Saints. The Lions at the Seahawks, the Cardinals at the Cowboys, and the Vikings at the Packers. On Monday night, the Browns are at the Steelers. In basketball yesterday, local action. The Knicks over the Timberwolves, 96-88. to Coming up today, the Knicks take on the Pistons. The Celtics take on the Clippers. And Kylie Irving has been cleared to play in the NBA through the COVID protocols. That's our check of sports this morning on The Breakfast Club.